Hello, and welcome to Lucy's Big Beautiful World of Painting. Today I'm going to be doing a knife painting. I'm not using any brushes. And to start off, I want to tell you what canvas I'm using. I'm using an 11 by 14 Artist Series red label canvas from Fredericks. And this is a wonderful canvas. It is a medium grain canvas. This is great for all mediums, and especially this knife painting I'm going to be doing. It's going to um, be very sturdy to hold all of that paint. Okay, so take a look at uh, Fredericks and see the beautiful canvases they have to offer. Okay, so that being said, I'm going to be doing a very simple knife painting, okay? This is just a way to get started um, using a palette knife. And what I have done is first, I put a gesso, a deco art chalky gesso in beige on my canvas. Then I just drew on uh, this simple outline of a girl on a beach. Now, if you can't draw at all, go ahead and go on the internet, look up coloring book pages, print one out, and you can transfer it right on, okay? So I saw a little picture like this, and I just kind of drew it on, and I may not even stay in those lines. I have to see when I get there with the knife, okay? So the reason for using this chalky gesso first is this is the color of the sand. So when I get down there, I only have to embellish a little with maybe a little bit of gold and some, um, some uh, other, I think it's raw sienna I use. Let me just look, raw sienna. Okay, and you don't have to cover the whole thing up. And it put another nice layer of paint on here. So our paint, our uh, DecoArt Premium paints will stick to it very, very well. So take a look at these. These come in a lot of different colors. Also, they are um, great for oil painters as your primer, okay, on your boards and all before you start to paint in oil. They have the gray that, um, I'm also an oil painter, so they do have the gray that we like to start with. All right, so first, um, what I did was I put all my paint out, and we'll make sure uh, we tell you what colors that I'm using today, and I am using a medium, okay, and the DecoArt Americana Premium. This is the heavy gel medium. I want this paint to be a little fluffy. I want to see this lines in it, okay? I want to see dimension in it. So besides me trying to give a little depth with changing uh, the coloring, um, the blue, uh, different shades of the blue, I am using this medium. So I'm starting out with a whole jar of white gesso, okay? And I see I didn't cover that too good. I'll worry about that later on. You always want to cover it because it will dry out. So I started out with a whole jar of gesso and a big dollop of the medium. And I'm going to mix this right in. And I'm making a huge amount of paint. It may be too much, but I didn't want to take the time to have to remix more. So um, you'll base it on the size of the um, canvas that you're using. So again, this is the 11 by 14. Now, as I'm mixing this up, I can feel the volume of the paint expanding, okay? And that's from that heavy gel medium. And this is a lot of fun to mix up, okay? So we're, I'm doing it just with a regular palette knife. You can use any, any palette knife you're comfortable with. I have this one, which is like a medium palette knife. And then I also have a little, little tiny baby palette knife, okay, which I may use to go around her hair. So I, I was trying to put a hat on my other one, and I didn't like the way that looked. So on my drawing, I kind of left that hat out. So I'm just going to improvise as I get there, all right? So what I'm doing is I'm making this big pile of white. All of my colors I'm going to be mixing with this white base, kind of like how we use a mother color when we, um, when we do other paintings, and we keep going back to that color, all right? So that the white we would consider kind of like the, the base of all of my colors today. Just going to wipe this off a little bit just so I don't get it all over me. I'm going to start with the sky. Now, the sky, um, I, I hope you can see, I have kind of a mid-tone blue, then it gets a little lighter, 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 and then dark when I get to the water. So. What I'll do is I'm going to start on the top, okay? I'm going to move the paint from my uh, palette onto a wooden can, uh, wooden palette. Reason being is when I'm standing over here, I have a little more support when I'm pushing down with the knife, all right? So let me see how I want to hold this. Um, I 
think I'm going to hold it the, the regular way. It might be easier that way for me to do it. So I'm going to mix on here and then move the paint here as I'm using it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move some white over. All right. And here we go. So all I did was move the white here. I want to make that mid-tone. I'm coming in to the side of the blue and I'm going to mix the blue. Now, I'm not expecting these colors to be exactly the same as when I first did this quick example at home. Anything that's close to it is fine. All right. I just want to separate the colors so you can see a little bit of the depth going down from the top of the sky. All right. So that might be good. I have a little bit of a mid-tone and then I know I can lighten it again. And you know what? I think I'm going to darken it more just so you can see it even better. And I think I'll make this painting even a shade darker on everything just so it can see, you can see it better. So I'm using the mixing area here and you can see how nice and fluffy that paint actually looks. And that's from the medium. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to lift it up and put it right onto my my wooden palette. Alrighty, there we go. So now I'll move over. Now I'll start the knife painting. So I'm just going to take some just like this and just pick up a big glob of it. And I'm going to start to spread it on. This is so much fun. Um, this is just like putting icing on a cake. Okay. Now I want to see the strokes. Okay. In other words, I'm not going to spread it. I want to see this nice, thick paint. I want to see those strokes on there. All right. So there we go. So you can see now I'm not going back and forth and back and forth. I'm going to do varied strokes up and down and side to side. I want this to look very artsy. Okay. You can see the wooden palette. I'm just scraping it right off. There we go. Spreading it on. And I'll see how far down I'll come. Like I said, I'm, I don't necessarily have to copy my example. I can just kind of go with it, see how it comes out. All right. I love the idea of the thickness of the paint and how it looks kind of fluffy. And it is uh, due to that nice medium. Okay. Now these products can be bought at, at your local stores. Okay. You can buy them online, of course, but you can get them at, at your local stores, Hobby Lobby and, um, Joann's and Michael's and AC Moore, they have them all there. So you could just, when you go, use your coupon and um, pick up some of these nice Deco Art products. All right. Now I'm going to make it a little tiny bit lighter. Now, since I can use that paint on here and I could actually mix on here or I can go back. Okay. I have some on here and I have room. So I'm going to take a, a bit of white here. So what I'm doing is I'm adding white because I want that a shade lighter. All right. So that can be considered like a, a value scale because now we're changing the color. We're not, uh, sorry, not changing the color. We're changing the value. So I'm making it lighter. The color is still blue. All right. Here we go. Making it light. And you can see I'm just mixing it up. And like I said, so much fun to just mix this paint up and I'm going to test it. I'll come over here and I'll give it a little test. Yes, I can see that that is lighter and I'm just going to come up to it. Then when I'm done, I'll show you how to chop it a little bit in between to make those colors come down. So I'm going to go up to, oh, about, about here. All right. And I'll put this lighter color on and you can see I'm really spreading it and I want that choppy. I made that too straight. I want it choppy. Now, as I get closer here, I'm just turning my knife and pushing it down to try to get that paint out. I, I could come back in again with my little palette knife. I want to try to get as much done as I can with the big one. Then if I have to go back, to, uh, go to the little one, then I will go to the little one. All right. So this is going to come all in here. I'm going over that little umbrella line, which I probably am not going to put in. I just wanted to test it at home to see how it looked when I drew this out. All right. And I think I'm going to come down a little bit more this time. So see, when you do a painting, you practice it on a, on a board, you know, an inexpensive board. When you go to do your regular painting, then you take out the good stuff. Okay. This way you save a little money on supplies and this way, you know, when you get to it, what you really want to do and how you want to change things. So I knew when I did that painting, that knife painting at home, that I didn't like the way this kind of looked. I tried to make a hat, the coloring is off. So this one, I just didn't put it on. 
All right, and that's what I did. So now, in between these two colors, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wipe my knife off. So I just have some paper towels over here. Just wiped some of the paint off. I'm gonna come in between these two and just dab back and forth. So I'm kind of mixing them right on, right on my canvas, okay? So you can see, just mixing it back and forth because I want a little bit of a gradation coming between them. I'll pull some of that up some of the dark up and some of the light down. Um, no, sorry. <laughs> some of the dark down and some of the light up. I said that backwards. All right. So you can see what I'm doing. Even if I said it backwards, I think I was doing it the right way. <laughs> All right, here we go. So I just kind of, kind of put those a little bit together. I'm just bringing a little up. So that would be it for the sky. While that tacks up a little and the paint starts to dry a bit, um, I'll go on to the rest of the painting and then I can go back and put some of those nice white clouds in. If I go try to put the white clouds in, it's gonna pick up a lot of that blue. So I'm gonna wait a little while to go back to that, okay? So now, in here I have the dark blue which represents the ocean. So I'm gonna come back, I'll scrape this off my wooden palette and there's not much on there anyway, okay? I can take a wipe, wipe some off, because I like to use that spot, all right? Take a paper towel and just get a little off. And I'll, I can clean this off later on. I just wanna dry it out a little bit. Um, this way, I like that area for my mixing, okay? Since I'm standing, okay? So um, I'm going to come back and I'm going to just take this blue that I have. I just took it off, but you know what? Let's put it back. I'm gonna put the white and I'll show you that I can mix right up here. As long as you have room, you can mix it right up there. Now, see, I put a lot of the blue in there because now I want to make it darker, okay? So you can see I'm making it darker. Now, I don't have enough. I know I don't have enough, so I'm gonna come back, take another couple of scoops there, okay? And let me see how dark that is. Mixing, mixing, see, I'm pushing the knife, pushing it down, pushing it back and forth, okay? This way it mixes. If it doesn't mix thoroughly, that's fine too, because in a painting like this, it doesn't have to. It's, it's very um, impressionistic, okay? So it doesn't matter, but I do want that darker, okay? So coming back again, getting more blue. I want it even darker. I wanna make sure that we can definitely tell that that is the water as compared to the sky. Now see, I got a little bit on the edges there. That's why it probably would have been better if I mixed there and then moved it, but that's how we learn. We try things and see what works best for us. And of course, in this situation, since I'm painting uh, standing at an easel and you know not in my regular workshop you you know kind of improvise for where you are same thing with plein air painting when you're painting outside you, you improvise to to where you're at okay so here we go I have this nice blue now this is a different blue than I had on that but you know what I like this blue so I'm just gonna go with it and get this blue on there to represent the water Okay, so I'm not take, I am taking a lot on my knife, but I'm not taking that much that it drips down. Okay, so I'm trying to be a little bit careful there, just so it doesn't drip, you know, drip that much. There we go, and I may have to go to that smaller knife pretty soon to try to get a little close in there, but I'm pushing on that tip of the knife and it seems to be working. So you know what, I'm gonna just go with it. This way I can get more done, all right? Come over to the other side and go up to her arm there. And like I said, this drawing is just a simple drawing. It's not in, not in a wonderful perspective. If you really want to do this at home, I would take your time, have your drawing be a little bit better. You can get a little more details on there and that'll look, you know, look a little better. But like I said, I wanted to show you at least the process of how to do this, okay? Now, in this case, I'm not going to pull this color up. I want it straight across, okay? So I'm just gonna move it like this. I want it up to the blue, but I'm not going to make a gradation like I did above, okay? So there we go. There is the water, all right? Now, I'm going to move right on down to the sand. Just wiping that off a little bit, and I think I'll just turn this a little. Now the sand, I'm using the white, 
All right, and I'll move it over here. If I have to go back and forth, I'll go back and forth. I'm putting in some raw sienna just to make a sand color. Now, I don't have to make a lot of the sand color because as you can see underneath, the sand color, um, the coloring underneath is already sand, okay? It is a sandy color. I got some blue in there and I did that on my other, I'm not worried about it. I'm just getting some on, all right? So there we go, I'm just, I'm, I'm going to leave some showing, okay? A lot of artists do that. They don't cover the entire, entire painting with paint. And I got some blue in there, that's okay. I can wipe that off. Just wanna get a little bit on here. And again, with some texture, so I'm going different ways, okay? Got a little bit of texture on there, there we go. And like I said, oops, got some more blue in there, that's okay, just gonna look like a shadow. I did that in my other painting as well. And that's actually my finger. I felt my finger go in that paint a little. Okay, so I'm gonna leave some of that showing. Now, gonna wipe it off again. I'm gonna start to get some of that pink in. I am going to come back to my, my palette um, on the table here. Just gonna mix some pink in. All right, here we go. And I'm gonna do this quickly. I wanna make sure I can get done with this. Like I said uh, 10 times already, when you're at home, take your time. Okay, so I'm just gonna come in and I'm going to fill this in with the pink. All right, so this is just a little umbrella. I'm gonna fill it in, oh, let me stand over to the side. I realize I'm standing right in the front of it. Sorry about that. There we go, and I got some blue, and I'm just spreading it on, and then I'll give it some texture after I spread it on. Right now, I just wanna get it, get her umbrella in there, all right? And I am gonna put some, some dark pink in there too. Now, I might have to now go to my smaller knife. All right, and here I got the little tiny knife here. See, that's a little easier, because now I can get in those little spots there. Okay, there we go. And I'm going right up to cover that line. I do want to make sure I cover my pencil line. And I just want to rough that up a little again. I don't really want it to look smooth. All right, I want to get the shape of that umbrella. There we go, I'm getting a little bit of that shape. This will come down. So just kind of looking at the drawing and thinking about the shape of an umbrella. All right, so I got that umbrella in there. Now what I want to do is I see a little bit of pink in her dress. So while I have that out, I'm going to come back and just going with the flow of the dress. All right, that's the flow of the dress. So you can see just spreading it on, spreading it on. All right, and let me see where else. Um, I have the dark. I'm gonna put some dark in. So you'll see how easy this is once you try it. So all I did was mix a little bit of dark pink and I'll come back in and make a little lining in the umbrella. All right, so again, it's see how thick the paint is? I'm just laying it on like icing on a cake. I can come back in, put that little top of the umbrella there, all right? I can come back in here, get a little dark pink in here. All right, there we go. And I'll see how much time I have and I'll come back and I'll show you a little bit of embellishing after I come back, all right? Now, let me put this down for a moment. So, now I wanna do a little bit of her hair, okay? So, I'm actually gonna move this over rather than, than hold that for now, all right? Because this is just a little bit. So I'm just making a little bit of a yellow, have a little bit of a blonde hair, okay? Here we go. I'm just kind of smoothing it in. And this will just be the illusion of her hair. Now, make sure this you try to take your time with. Get up to that pink. I'm trying not to mix the pink in, all right? I don't want to mix the pink in with her hair, so I'm being a little more careful. I got some in the blue, but that could always um, be fixed, okay? We'll see how much time I have. And you can see I'm just kind of painting that in. So that could be your hair. Now, what I can do is come in with a little bit of white. I just put it on the edge of my brush just to give it a little bit of dimension and just spreading some, some white on there. I did get a little pink in there, gonna leave it. Now, I wanna make a little bit of a skin color. So a skin color would be mostly white. And look at it, it has a little pink and yellow in there already just a dab of the sienna, all right? So here we go, 
get a little bit more. Notice how I'm adding little bits at a time, okay? Because if you add too much, you can't take it away. So now that looks like a, a, pretty, a pretty good skin color there, all right? And I'll just wipe some of that off, take a little bit, and I'll try to be a little careful here and just come in and get this little bit of color on. All right, that's her, that will be her skin color, okay? So I hope this is making sense. And like I said, at home, please take your time because now, see, I'm working on an arm. So that's just a little illusion of an arm. And I'm trying to hurry, but not hurry, if that makes sense. <laughs> I want to show you the lesson, and um, you know, so it will be a little, a little less neat than I would prefer it. All right. Notice how I'm holding the knife over, and just getting some of that paint in. All right. So I'll try to hold my hand up. Make sure you can see. So just to get a little bit of skin color in there. All right. So. Lastly, we'll work on her dress. Now, her dress, I have the gold, all right? Now, I don't want to um, put too much white in the gold, so let's see. We'll make a nice gold color. I'm just gonna tone it down with that white, and then we might use the straight gold, all right? And like I said, I'm not trying to mix exactly like my other painting. It's just this lesson that I wanna show you, all right? So here we go. I'm just gonna get this dress on now. Now, this is an easy part because it's nice big spots. All right, so I'm just picking up the paint. Let me come in here and in here. Now, I noticed that my gold color is pretty close to her skin, so that I would adjust. I picked up some pink, and that is fine. In this type of painting, that's fine. It'll actually look very pretty to have those colors coming together a little, all right? So you can see I'm just pushing the knife back and forth and back and forth, and I'm just gonna come around her dress here, all right? coming around the dress. I'm getting some blue in. There is, of course, it all could be fixed. All right, at home, this painting should take you at least an hour, all right? I'm doing it in about 27 minutes. This should take at least an hour. So it shows you that how slow that you should be going when you're doing this type of painting, okay? I just hope at least my show is enough to give you the inspiration to try at home, all right? There we go, I just made her dress a little bigger. So now you can see she has some coloring in her dress. I'll come up to now her, her back of her dress and we're just gonna be almost done with this. I know I have a few more minutes left so I can go back and show you how to get those clouds in and try to spread out this dress. I, I mean, I would maybe change her arm color a little but it looks pretty good. I think you can get the illusion of it. Um, I want to get some nice gold in there while I have time. So I'm just going into my gold and I'm leaving that the way it is the gold. And I'd like to put a little gold in here and really kind of dress up her dress a little. Okay, so this is a lady on the beach with a beautiful gown on. All right, that's what I'm envisioning. Got a little bit of gold in there. Maybe put a little bit of gold in her back of her dress here. And then what I'd like to do is get those clouds on for you. And I just wanna do some lining, okay? And a little bit of work in the waves. So let me get those clouds on for you first. Now, of course, I have all this white and I can see that I used two times the amount that I actually needed. So now we know that when you're doing this project and you buy your deco art gesso, okay? This is the gesso in white you only use half the jar, okay? So here, here's how I'm doing the clouds, very simple. Now, up top, it, it did tack up a little bit and it's not that wet, so I'm not picking up that much of the blue and this is it. I'm just thinking about a cloud shape and you can see I'm just patting on a cloud. I'm gonna wipe off the little knife, go back, take more, and there we go. Getting on a little bit of a cloud, okay? And we're just gonna start to get ready to wrap this up. I hope that you liked the lesson and I hope that you um, won't be afraid to try it, okay? Here, I'm just putting a little bit of white down there, represent the end of the water. All right, there's the end of the water. I'm wiping off in between because I'm picking that up because that's fresher paint. All right, so now we have the end of the water. I can put a little white in here, kind of show a little 
oops, I just kind of got it in there, but see how I just went back and fixed that up? A little wave movement there. A little wave movement. All right, again, wiping off. And what I'd like to do is I'm just taking the end of my palette knife and going straight into the paint. I want a straight edge because I just want to differentiate between her sleeve and her arm. Okay, see how I just kind of, and then in the middle here to show the waistline of her dress, maybe in a little illusion of a little bow or something coming down there. Okay, so I'm kind of just drawing a little and I'm, I am not a drawing expert. Just the idea to give an illusion, all right? So, again, this is a wonderful painting for you to try. Um, and just get your knives out, get your, your materials, have enough time, and you can really do a pretty, pretty painting like this. All right? And main thing is take your time, okay? This painting should take you over an hour to complete. So now I'm just going back and I'm just seeing a couple little spots where I like to, to fix up a little, all right? And that would be it. Again, you can use your gesso underneath and you don't even have to fill that all in if you don't want to. And you don't need that much for this. Like I said, I, I used twice as much as, um, as I needed to. And because I added that heavy gel medium in there, it fluffed it up. So that was my fault, okay? So use, use half the amount that I, uh, that I used. And I want to um, thank you for uh, tuning into my show today. And please come back and look at my other shows. I hope you enjoyed this painting.